Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Three days, two overnighters, two different camps. Today is day two. I have to search for my next camp where I can stay for the night and just walk a lot, enjoy the beautiful nature around me. And like every time, you can accompany me. The place up there looks interesting. Behind of the rocks, close to the wall, to the stone wall. Maybe I found there a great place for the night. I will leave my backpack down here because it is too much weight. And walk up there and searching for a nice place to stay for the night. Here is no place for a camp, um, there is no even ground and this here is all sandstone and I don't want to sleep under a sandstone like this when it is over me. So behind me it is okay, it is fine, but not over my camp. So um, let's search for another place. Oh, worst case situation. I walked before up there and I lost my microphone. So it is only here fixed with a clip. And I don't notice it, that it is away and make more scenes, walk here behind me. And then I check the scene because from time to time I check if the sound is okay. And I hear that there is no sound and I, I checked where is my microphone, I lost my microphone. And you see I am here in a leaf forest with beech trees, so when something falls here down it is forever lost. And I've got panicked, where is the microphone, where is the microphone. I checked the scenes that I make with the camera, where I have sound and at which point not. And so I can say, I can see, oh, it, had to be lost there and there and oh, oh my goodness I found it again oh <laughs> this here is a nice spot look at this amazing tree 
Beautiful. So old. But this place here is not so even. There's only one flat space and this is here and it is covered with stones. So I had to put the stones away at first. I, I check if I find a better place and when not I come back here and stay here for the night. So oh, I found my camp for tonight. I like it here. This is also sandstone, but there is a big difference to the other wall that I showed you before. This um, rock looks very massive. And when you look here at the ground, you can see that there is nothing falling down. Here is only sand. No small stones, no rocks, nothing. So this would be a great place for staying for the night. I like it. Hm, Polly. Hier bleiben wir, oder? Schaut gut aus. Buddy, come, here is the place. Here is the place. Today I need no top, no building, only my isolation pad and the sleeping bag because I sleep under the rock, it is dry there. And sleeping under the rock had an also a positive point because I can put there all the leaves away. They are really dry, they can burn, so I had to put them away. But then there are only stones at the ground and I can make a bigger fire. Yesterday in the wood I don't want to make a big fire, but today I don't want to saw so much. So I put the big branches direct in the fire and push it always deeper in the fire when they burn away and don't have so much work with the saw. Yeah, this is nice. Fine. 
I found this piece of cotton here under the leaves. I had no idea why it is here and trash. Like every time I am in the forest, I will take it with me and put it at home in my trash. I put all this leaf here at this point because it is really dry and when they are flying an amber on top it will burn. It is completely dry here under the rock. And the second reason why I do this is that I will put it tonight under my sleeping pad so I have more isolation and it is more comfortable. Hm, Polly, musst du deine Nase auch gleich reinstecken, gell? Ja. Überraschungsgast. Hast du es gut gefunden? Ja. Polly, Polly, Lia ist da. So, ich habe hier schon ein bisschen angefangen für unser Lager. Genau, jetzt erst mal den Rucksack runter und fangen an und dann schauen wir mal, was wir heute alles vorhaben. We want to have tonight on warm and comfortable fire. I searched a little bit of firewood here and we make it in smaller pieces and put it here to our fireplace but it is not enough I think we need a little bit more. Oder wenn du Stückchen hast, die recht feucht sind, dann auch gleich aussortieren, weil manche lagen zum Teil unterm Laub. We put the bigger branches that we don't uh, can um, break here under the rock, that they stay dry because it starts to rain now. So they will be dry there. So, my special surprise guest, officially, again, welcome Leah, nice that you are here. You know Leah from the former video in the past, we built together at my permanent camp in the forest. And Leah spent with me her first night in the woods there, so it could not be so bad because today it is the second time that Leah wanted to sleep with me in the woods. And um, we will have a very comfortable camp here. Actually, it starts to rain, but it doesn't matter. We have good clothes on. We will have a comfortable camp. We'll make a nice fire. Maybe do some curving when we have enough time and just relax and spend a beautiful time here in the nature. So, let's go. Up here in the rock hang on that beech tree and this would be the perfect firewood because it starts to rain and all the wood that lay here at the ground is now wet but this here should be really dry. Maybe we can um, 
we can bring it together down to the ground. I'm not sure if we can make it, but we tried. We can not bring the tree down, but on part, um, the other part is still so stable and the roofs are maybe in a an, in an small part of the rock growing very strong into this part so we can't move it out but we let it here and when we had when when we have later not enough firewood we can um, put on part of the saw away and when not then he should be there It doesn't stop to rain. We thought maybe it's just a short shower, but it doesn't stop. So we search a little bit more firewood and then we start with the fire. We have now enough firewood for the beginning. We start with a small fire and then when we see how it burns, we can make a bigger fire maybe. But at first it's just for the comfort factor that we feel well here and can, um, we can make our sausages over the fire. This is not our evening dinner, just for the time between. 
um, yeah, we, we worked and so we are hungry and we want to eat something. Um, we really enjoy this place here because it is still um, raining and it will not stop the next hour. But we have here so much space under this rock. It is complete dry here everywhere. We can walking stand up complete and not sitting like under on top. And uh, normally I had the plan that we both sleep today under on top. So it would be not so cozy because all around us it would be wet and we can't stay stand high in this under the top so it is perfect that i found this place here it is much better to spend on rainy time here than under on top we cut out now on part of this branch for betoning because all the wood that we collect before is a little bit wet. It rains and it was wet before it rains because um, in this time of the year there is without ice, without freezing, everything a little bit wet. So we cut here and part of this beech branch out to, to do some betoning that we came to the dry point of every branch that it burns better. Later we don't need it, but for the start, from, for the beginning of the fire, it is important that we have complete and complete dry part of the wood that it burn well. Kannst du das flache Stückchen holen, bitte? Und dann einfach darauf legen. Genau. Perfekt, hat doch super geklappt. Ja, ich habe hier diesen Block. Magst du versuchen abzukratzen? Ich zeig dir mal, wie ich es meine. Also das eine hier ganz festhalten und dann mit dem Daumen das Messer immer so runterdrücken, sodass so ganz feine Flöckchen unten entstehen. Probier es einfach mal. Also der Daumen dann auf die Klinge. Ah, stimmt, du bist linkshänderin, gell? Genau. Und jetzt ähm, fang weiter unten an. Genau, und jetzt einfach so, ja genau, perfekt, so runterdrücken. Genau, da brauchen wir so einen richtig schönen kleinen Haufen davon. Lea made some small pieces from the Maya stick. So we need a little bit of this to start the fire with the resin inside it burns really good. Yeah. 
Lass das mal richtig anbrennen und dann die Späne drauf. Genau, geht schon. Nicht alle, nur ein paar erstmal. Genau, dann lass die erst wieder anbrennen. Und wenn die brennen, dann die nächsten. Wobei, da in der Mitte liegt jetzt gar keiner drauf, dann kannst du da ruhig noch einen drauflegen. Und auch ein paar von den Ästen gleich mit drauflegen. So ein, genau, so ein feineres Stückchen. Ganz locker oben drauf. You can hear this from the firewood. It sounds a little bit like a snake. This is a sign that the wood is not completely dry, but if we have enough amber pretty soon, it is no problem because the amber is then so hot that the wood will dry completely. Those branches here are for our food. We have some sausages filled with cheese at first and then um, we want to make a bread on the branch. Yeah, and for this we had to cut the small branches away and put the bark away with the knife. Yeah, my stomach is empty. I'm very hungry now.
30 minutes, then it is complete dark. Some raindrops fall down from the trees, but we have it very cozy here under the rock with the fire and enjoy it. <coughs> we have it now really cozy and comfortable here at the fire. But we have also very good clothes on. Leia has on um, thermo trousers and over the thermo trousers and um, Fjellreven trousers and then different um, clothes, all natural and on top and um, wool pullover and a um, loden jacket. And I have not exactly the same, I have no thermo trousers, I have only a loden trouser and then different sizes of um, cotton clothes. There are one, two, three, four parts of cotton clothes, then I have a wool pullover and then um, a loden. Um, isn't, it is not a pullover, it is without the arms, I don't know the right word. And over this, this clothes also on Luton jacket. We have the same jackets, but um, it was before the brand Rough Stuff and now it is called um, Petromax. So it is the same jacket. Leah has it in brown and I am in green. Um, there are, um, yeah, pretty the same. And they are really warm in the winter times. So you cannot mix um, um, natural clothes and synthetic clothes, so you had to choose ones because they are so different um, in the way how they work that you can't mix it. We want to use the time till we make um, our dinner with some curving. We want to make a spoon. So we choose a really simple way to do this. Um, at first my really good friend Sepp Waldhandwerk showed to me how it works. I have here this part of a branch. It is not fresh but not too old, not rotten. And we will cut it now with the knife in two parts. And then we put in one part a small piece of amber inside, put the second part on top and then just blowing the whole time that um, the amber make a hole into this wood. Then we had to put another amber on it. Uh, <laughs> this is Bavarian. Another amber into the branch and another and another till the hole is deep enough. And then you had only to cut around this hole and you have a spoon. So I don't know how much we can work today, but we just start now and let's look how fast it gets or not.
This is how it looks after 30 minutes. You can see that slowly there is a hole in both parts. Um, just from time to time we had to scratch it out, out with the knife that we can see how deep the hole is. Um, yeah, not, not that it is too deep and then the wall work is for nothing. We learned a new word. Tonight we eat, like we call it in German, Schaschlik. But um, the translator app said that Schaschlik um, is called in English Shish Kebab. So tonight we have Shish Kebab. I have some pieces of meat, um, pig and cow, and paprika and um, the bacon from yesterday and we put it at the branches that we used before for the sausage and roast it direct over the fire. Gut. Paprika unten. Oh, it smells delicious. I think mine is ready. So, more pity. We want to carve now at our spoon. We had to put this part here away and make this part here smaller that we have a nice handle.
we finished our spoons. They are not perfect, but for outdoors, for the primitive technology that we used, they are very good. And yeah, it is a little bit like in the Stone Age. Of course, we have no splint stone knife, but yeah, it is something nice to do in the dark winter evening hours. So, our bed place is now ready. I sleep, of course, the same way like yesterday. Top, um, isolation pad, sleeping bag. And Leo has the same, um, but he has the Tamarest sleeping bag. I don't use it because it is so big in the backpack. It needs the half of the backpack and this is too much. But it is very big so I hope Leah can sleep very comfortable and of course warm enough on top of it. And he has uh, the greasy bag down wool ice winter sleeping bag so it is not so cold we have now zero degrees. Um, I, I'm sure we have a comfortable night and let's see how, how Leah sleep because it is her second night in the forest. Um, I remember my first times in the forest, I never sleep well, it uh, need a long time till I can have a silent night and sleep good outdoors, so we will see. Okay, we are going now into our sleeping bags and we hear and see us tomorrow. Good night. I have for the winter times for sleeping this storm um, the storm um, hat from Fjellraven. So you can see uh, you can close your whole face if you want or not. It is not um, yeah it doesn't look so nice but it helps really when you have a cold face. Um, in the winter, the face is mostly the ones, the only thing that is out of the sleeping bag and it helps to get your face warm in the night. So, we will spend now a beautiful, silent, hopefully silent night here and see us tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. It was a really silent night. Not much wildlife activity. Only a few owls. Um, Leah is still asleep. I think she has some good night. This is really good. And it's raining the whole night. It's still a little bit raining in the morning. So I wanted to start on fire that we can warm up.
Friday. Yeah. Je coûte. Such a warm fire is really awesome in the morning. Warm up the cold bones. So Leah is still awake now. She told me that she has a good night, sleep well. Do you hear any wildlife in the night? No, I hear also no wildlife activity, only the owls. But um, they are so, so silent. Yeah, and now we want to make breakfast. We have some waffles that we want to enjoy the fun smoking. Um, I'm smoking taste. Yeah, just just enjoy the fire and warm the body up. We both sleep here really well and comfortable. In the night, the fire was on and the sh light of the fire shining here at the rock. And I was staring at the rock and thinking about if it was really a good idea to sleep here direct under the rock. But then I told my brain that here are no rocks at the ground, no stones. The stone had to be so massive that there is no danger. And then I can sleep well, yeah. It was a really, really nice trip, nice, nice tour. Also the filming was very easy this time because normally I have my very big camera, um, this, the big Sony camera with all the extras I showed you some time before in a video. And today I have an um, other camera, it's the Sony ZV-1, the vlogger cam. It is a really small camera, very handsome, very easy to film. Um, and this is just a lightweight camera, in fact, what I carry normally. This here is also a small tripod for this camera. I have only my filming light here on top. I can put the camera here on top and start the movie, make a photo, came closer to the scene. Yeah, so this was really, really easy this time. Oh, the only bad thing is the sound, but because of this I have here my Bluetooth sound system so that you have a better sound in the video. It's time to say goodbye. It was a great trip. Three days, two nights in the wilderness. Once with the company on from Leah. So thank you that you came with me. It was a great time. We had a lot of fun. Um, it is great that Leah slept her second night in the nature so well, so deep. Um, my nights in the beginning are terrible. <laughs> yeah, all my equipment that I use is like every time here under the video in the video description so if you are interested click into um, the description. Thank you for watching and I hope we see us again in the next video. Have a great time! Bye bye!